welcome back continuing from my last video on Cambridge international exams O level uh, now this is a these are questions taken from October November 2006 paper no calculators or tables are allowed so you have to do use your pen and paper to get to the answer so simplify question number three 25x to the x squared divided by 5x to the power 4. So this is same as 25x squared uh, divided by, uh, how will you write, say x to the power negative 4 is 1 over x to the power 4. Okay, now to explain this, if you go say 2 to the power minus 2 is 1 over 2 squared which is 1 over 4 which is 0 0.25 so I'll, just for explaining this I'll show this on a calculator okay so whenever you have a negative exponent this if it's in the numerator it goes to the denominator and becomes positive and 1 over 2, squ two squared you understand is 4 and 1 over 4 is 0.25 so I'll show this on a calculator so you go 2 raised to negative 2 okay the calculator will give you 0 0.25 how, this is how the calculator works okay so let us get started so this is equal to 5 times 1 over x to the power 4 okay as I uh, explained in the last video any number has a numerator and a denominator so this is 25 x squared divided by 5 times 1 is 5 over x to the power 4 and the next step when you change this into multiplication this will come down and this will go up so you should watch my previous video on this so this is 25 x squared over 1 times x to the power 4 over 5 so this is when you're multiplying exponents or you're multiplying powers you add the exponent so this is 25 x squared times x to the power 4 over 1 times 5 I'm going very slowly so that you understand 1 times 5 sorry this is 1 times 5 so this is 25 x to the power 6 over 5 so your final answer would be 5x to the power 6 just like that so this is your answer so let me change color make it say blue next question solve this so this is a quadratic equation we can expand this now this to understand this this is based on a very simple fact say if a times b is equal to 0 when can two number the product of two numbers be zero so we can say a is zero or b is zero i have to give you an example say say zero times five is zero and five times zero is also zero that means if you multiply two numbers and if one of them is zero the product is always zero okay so that's what i'm saying so this is one number and this is also a number so I can say well this is 0 2x minus 3 is 0 and x plus 2 is also 0 you can say and or and or or okay so this is 0 or this is 0 now when is this 0 so to be to for 2x minus 3 to be 0 this has to become 3 okay because 3 minus 3 is 0 so I can say 2x has to be 3 now if, <coughs> if you divide this side by 2 you have to divide this side by 2 so this and this gets cancelled so x is 1.5 I'll explain this backwards once we get this so now when is this 0 this has to be negative 2 so x is negative 2 now think about it in a different way or let us put this and see what happens <clears throat> excuse me so when you put x is equal to 1.5 in this equation 2 times 1.5 is 3 and 3 minus 3 is 0 so this is 0 
times anything is 0. And when you put x is negative 2 here, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And this is 0 times this is also 0. Okay, let me do one more question. Okay. In an examination, Allen scored 32 out of 40 marks. In another examination, Ben obtained 5 eighths of the total mark. Express the marks of each candidate as a percentage. So percentage is, percentage means out of 100. Per, per cent. Out of 100. Cent means 100. Per is out of. Okay, out of 100. So 32 out of 40 okay 32 out of 40 you can write as 32 divided by 40 so 32 out of 40 <coughs> is same as uh, if you want to change this this is 16 out of 20 okay and this is how much 8 out of 10 and 8 out of 10, if you multiply this, I'm halving this, so divide by 2, divide by 2. Okay, and again divide by 2, divide by 2. I'm going to now multiply this with 10, and this is also 10. That is 80 out of 100. So Ben got, has got 80 out of 100, which is 80%. Just like that. Okay, now... <coughs> Uh, no, this is Alan, sorry. This is not Ben, this is Alan. Alan got 80%. Okay, now Ben has is getting 5 8 of the mark. So Ben is 5 out of 8. Now, yeah, I'm going to do a trick. So 5 out of 8 is 2.5 out of 4. Hmm? This is Okay, now, <coughs> how will I do this? Okay, so this is, I know 4 times 25 is 100. So this will also times by 25. So this is um, 2.5 times 25. So I go 25, I'll just do it here. 25 times 2 is 50. And then you have got 25 times half, 25 times 0.5. Is 12.5 okay so 25 times 2 is 50 and 25 times 0.5 is 12.5 so 60 and 12.5 is 62.5 out of 100 so Ben sorry Ben has got yeah 262.5 percent see you in the next video